Okay, so you got tight hamstrings. Don't worry, I'm not gonna judge you. I used to have really tight hamstrings as well. I'm gonna help guide you through some different progressions for stretching the hamstrings that are perfect for beginners. You know, people who are like, forget about touching my toes. I can't even touch my knees. Wow, what does this even feel like? If you enjoy being guided through workouts, then check out our follow along program called Guided, where you get access to all of our exclusive follow along stretching, strengthening, and movement routines. Let's loosen these guys up. Guys, two things I want you to keep in mind while we're doing these hamstring stretches. Number one is that it really is so much about the relationship and the coordination of you to be able to keep your pelvis and your spine in the right position to be able to actually access a stretch in these hamstrings. And then going forward, you can actually use those hamstring gains that you make in just movement, right? Number two is that unless you're a young kid, uh, chances are your hamstrings are pretty stiff and we're going to need to find ways to put more weight into these guys to give them a reason to open up. If we just do stuff like this, this isn't really such of a reason for this to open up, but if we're able to find a position that really loads the hamstring and makes you use some strength while stretching it, that's gonna give it the reason to open up. So this first stretch that we're gonna do is we're gonna be in a seated position. So you can use a chair, you can use a bench at the gym, uh, whatever you have handy. And we're going to just slightly spread the knees out, kind of like straddling the legs a bit. The knees can stay at about 90 or you could go even a little bit longer there. But what, but what we're focusing on is getting this arch through the lower back, really tilting my pelvis forward, and then we're gonna hinge forward here at the hips, right? And this is gonna teach us how we can actually hinge and get into these hamstrings better, right? So yes, I have my shirt off to show my muscles, of course, but I also have my shirt off to really emphasize what this spine is doing, okay? So let's start here. We're gonna get the chest nice and open and proud. We're gonna arch that lower back, and then I want you to hinge forward only until you can keep that lower back arched. If it starts to round, you've gone too far, right? Here, I like to even put a hand back there in my lower back to make sure that's staying arched, right? Breathe. Good. And as you're doing this, just pay attention to what sensations are coming up. You're probably starting to feel stuff under the, under the butt here in this high hamstring area. You're probably feeling your lower back work to stay arched here. And it, it, it resists any rounding here. This is all about this good arch through the lower back to access the hammies, okay? And now as you go, as you loosen up a bit, you're gonna be able to get a little bit deeper on each rep. You know, maybe in the beginning stages, it's not super deep. Maybe you're only getting right here. That's totally fine, right? We just wanna work to your range of motion and see if we can get the blood flowing there and improve it a little bit each time we do this. Let's do one more rep. And we're gonna hold on this one as deep as we can. Really arch that lower back. Let yourself sink in a little bit more with the breath. And come on up. Whew. Okay. Shake that out a little bit. Now this is gonna be quite demanding, especially the stiffer that your hamstrings are. So the, the, the more this puts on your body, you know, the more stress. So this next one, we're essentially gonna follow all the same cues, but we're gonna do it from a standing position. And now with this lower knee locked out straight, that's gonna put a huge stretch on the hamstrings, right? But we need to be able to find this good position to actually stretch the hamstrings, right? So what you see 
More often is that we do this, and if the back rounds, then we're actually skipping some of this hamstring stretching that we could be getting, okay? So, let's do it. So we're gonna go here. You're gonna kinda stick the butt out like you're posing for an Instagram picture here. Chest is up, and then we're going to hinge forward here. Let that chest come really far forward. Only go as deep as you can keep that arch in the lower back, then we come up. And I want you to pause for a second before you come up, right? Here. Pausing for a quick moment. Three. Very good. Keep that chest up. Think about that chest going diagonally down. It's going forward and down. Keeping proud posture here. I like to kind of try to tuck my head back. That really helps keep that whole spine in extension. If we get here, you're gonna have more tendency to round, right? So keep that head pulled back a little bit. Keep those eyes up and keep those knees locked, right? You're gonna have the tendency to wanna do this. Slightly un unbend the knee, unlock. That's just gonna be missing some of the flexibility gains that we could be that we could be getting, right? So let's keep going here. We're gonna do a few more reps, but I wanna show you maybe your reps just look like this. Maybe you're right here, and that's completely fine. But as we go, see if you can get a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Breathe. Pause, okay, let's go this last one. Let's pause for 10 seconds. Get to your deepest position. Breathe. Feel the hamstrings. Put your, put your mind in the back of the legs right here and just be there. Excellent, excellent, yes. Guys, you can make so many gains with just that stretch right there. You really don't need anything super, super fancy. If you really work with keeping that back arched, you'll have all the hamstring flexibility that you need, right? Okay, we got one more to go here. So we put a huge emphasis on stretching with the back arched, right? And that really, helps you access a lengthened hamstring position. Now, we're going to actually round the spine purposefully to just really try to get as deep into a forward fold as possible. So this is one of my favorite stretches here. I, I use this so much. It feels great and you're able to access the hamstrings and also the squat position, which is gonna be stretching ankles, hips, you know, spine, all this good stuff. So, what we do, is we're gonna start by folding forward here, right? Put your hands wherever you can get them on your legs. Maybe it's like right, above, right below the knee, maybe it's the ankle, whatever works. From here, what I want you to do is pull yourself down into a squat, like so. Now maybe your squat is not super deep, maybe it's like this, that's fine. We're gonna straighten the knees, and I want you to just kind of pull yourself upside down a little bit more, okay? So then we're gonna go back to the squat. And we pull ourselves into this forward fold a bit more, right? And don't get discouraged. If you look at me and you're like, oh, yeah, no way I can get that. That's fine. You can be right here, just pulling yourself down. Right, straightening the knees all the way and pulling. And this is what I talked about in the beginning. We need a little extra force, right? We need to put more load into the hamstrings to get them to respond, right? And maybe as you go, your squat position gets deeper as well, and that's quite lovely. And maybe you can start to find a really, really deep position for your hamstrings, right? 
really pull here. And because we're standing up, the hamstrings are really, really active and they're loaded. Now I get nice and deep in that squat, feel it out, pull. Let's do two more. Squat, pull yourself down, wherever it is, wherever you're at. Last one. Let's pause in the squat here for a second. Just feel nice, deep squat position. Feel how good it feels to be down here. And now let's raise the hips and straighten the knees and let's pull and hold. Breathe. And relax. Guys, quick, easy, quick and dirty, quick and easy, whatever you wanna call that. But um, only three sets, but we're really, really tapping into those hamstrings. If it feels really good, rewind it back, do it another time through. But you can come back to this two to three times a week and you will see some really, really massive improvements in your hamstrings. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes the hamstrings can take a while to open up, but if you keep at it, I guarantee you'll see some success. So if you made a little bit of progress in your hamstring flexibility from where you started and where you finished this routine, then I wanna know, comment below, let me know if you were able to open those up at all. My best advice when working on flexibility is to stay persistent and stay determined. See, when you start a strength training routine, a lot of the time we get these newbie gains where your body just loves it and you get a lot stronger in the first few months of training. When you're training for flexibility, it can actually be the opposite. It can take quite a long time to get your body to calm down and to relax into position. But if you keep at it, if you put the months in, then you'll get there, no doubt. Nobody who stretches consistently stays stiff forever. We all see progress. It just takes longer than you might want it to. I also wanna hear from you guys, what are you having trouble stretching? What is another area of the body that you would like to see a stretching follow along routine on? If you enjoyed this one, thumbs up, like, like, like. Subscribe. I know some of you guys watch strength side videos, but you've never hit that subscribe button. Just go down there and click it. You know, even if you don't know what that even means, right? You know, for some of you older folks, it's like subscribing to a newspaper that comes to your house, but it's free. You don't have to pay for it, but you get all of these videos to pop into your metaphorical internet mailbox. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uploads every single Friday. Be good, y'all.